six-player game. I'm so excited. Woot woot! There's actually enough room on the internet for everybody, so feel free to join the audience and vote along. Put on your oxygen tank, because we're going to explore cyberspace. Hey, I'm Todd. And just like an ad for those shoes you looked at earlier, I'm going to stalk you across many different websites. If you need a crash course on how to play, check out this tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a... e-commerce site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can.
you regret your decisions? It's too late now. Who looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. Here's what people think. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oh dear. <laughs> no. Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Great. Now let's go to a crowdfunding site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Ready or not, here we go.
vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Let's see who got the votes. Wowza. Oh. Let's see what that round did to things. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a social media site. Another prompt is headed your way. Now please get to it. Okay, get those creative juices flowing. Okay, you knuckleheads, here we go. Let's get those boats in. Okay, here are the verdicts. Let's check the scoreboard. And our last stop of the game will be at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen.
Here is your last prompt. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. Oh boy, I can hardly contain my excitement. Okay, time to vote. And here are the results. It all comes down to this. Well done. This has to be one of your all-time highlights.
We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Best non-traditional way to say hello to a stranger you pass on the street. Enter your answers now. Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. <laughs> by the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Time's running out. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to seek our fortune at the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. The predictions are in. Let's dive into our first bracket. Oh, it's a doozy. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. Wow, too close to call. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. Stranger danger! I don't condone gambling, but if you bet on this one, it paid off for you. Moving on to our next matchup. Could this be a blowout? That kind of domination is illegal in some states. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. There is no love lost between these two. Greetings, good. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Talk about an underdog tale. Money if you guessed it. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this. Oh. What a greeting! Oh. 
just one match away from our finals. Potential winner starts to emerge. That wasn't even close. Looks like this one was obvious. And now the definitive matchup. What is the best way to greet a stranger on the street? I am on the edge of my... Moving into overtime. Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. We have our first winner. Wow, what a bracket. Let's see how the score shook out. It's time for the blind bracket. We start with just the category. Name any celebrity. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. Let's see what this bracket is really about. Most likely to secretly be a vampire. Time to get in those predictions. The predictions are in. Let's start with a bang. Regular juggernaut. Next up, this is one for the ages. An upset in the making. Match had more comebacks than Liza Minnelli. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. Talk about a rivalry. These two competitors have been at each other's necks all week. The lead keeps changing hands! These two heavyweights went back and forth, but there can only be one victor! Looks like everyone got this one wrong. And now, our last two contenders face off! Votes are incoming. Looks like we're heading to overtime on this one. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. The tie has been broken. Finally, we can go on with our lives. 
Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. The skills are beginning to tip. As they say back in the old country, we got a winner. The finals are just a win away from these next two answers. This is a big one. Decisive victory! And now we finally decide who is definitely a vampire! Here come the votes. We've got overtime! Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can! That win's gotta feel good! Let's check out that scoreboard. It's all been leading up to this. Time for the triple blind bracket. This bracket will change every single round. Here's your starting category. Name any fluid. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take. Let's see what we're dealing with. Best thing to freeze and use for a snowball fight. Time to get in those predictions. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. <laughs> the predictions are in. It's go time. Well, you can flip that flappity. Our next matchup. Former teammates, will these two answers be able to stay focused on the matchup? The struggle is... Making happy noises! Why don't we see what's going on on the other side of the bracket? Some early votes. That was a clash of the titans! It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup! Hmm. 
no contest. Let's switch up this bracket. Best fluid to replace gasoline as fuel. Get those predictions in now. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. This one's looking over already. It's always Christmas somewhere! This could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. No surprises on the prediction front. One final switcheroo. Best fluid to pour on a flesh wound. I hope your answer still makes sense. And now the definitive matchup. Have a winner! Let's see who won it all! Hey there, I'm Cookie, and this entire game is made from reclaimed barn wood. Three players, plus two players, so five players. Yeah, I think that all checks out. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's play! This is round one. You'll pick up 500 points for everybody you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. 
Give me a category. First question. Goel Ratzon was a bizarre Israeli cult leader who issued his followers cell phones so they could text him when they were blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. If you're stumped, you can hit the lie for me button, but using it's only worth half the points. Do it. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. So here are your choices. Look for the truth and tap it on your device. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Thankfully, we have iPhone apps for that now. Hey, it's Celebrity Social Media Time! Celebrity Social Media! Celebrity Tweet! In February 2011, Britney Spears tweeted, Does anyone think blank is a good thing? I love Lady Gaga. I think she's a really interesting artist. Okay, enter your lies. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. All right, where's the truth? All right, who picked what? Well, so much for that one. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, pick a category. Here's the question. William Patrick Stewart Houston was awarded a Purple Heart during World War II, which is incredible considering he was blank. Write your lies now. Write something quick, are you... Okay, seek the truth.
Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> Believe it or not, he changed his last name for some reason. Get ready for round two, where all the points are doubled. Select a category. Now listen up. Jibachi Senbei are an odd Japanese snack treat, also known as blank crackers. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? All right, let's see what everybody picked. Nice lie. That was a complete miss. Uh. Oh yeah, I've heard the buzz about these. <laughs> Time to pick a category. Let's see what we got. District Judge Donald Thompson was given a four-year prison sentence in 2006 after he was caught using blank during several trials. Enter your lies now. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Let's see how things shook out. Still, four years seems like an inflated sentence. Choose a category. Try this one. In 2001, Padres pitcher Adam Eaton took a knife to the gut when he tried to blank. All right, type in your lies. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, which one is the truth? All 
All right, let's see what you guys picked. <laughs> Great lie there. He stabbed himself by accident, just in case you thought it was a crazed Laserdisc fan. Welcome to the final fibbage. It's your last chance at points and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. On Christmas Day in Iceland, children leave an offering of clothes so they won't be blank by blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Try this on for size. It's called the Yule Cat, and if it means avoiding Christmas morning at my aunt's house, Yule Cat, take me now. I try to figure out what to write